So have you done any lantern fly smashing lately? I'm sure a lot of you have had plenty of opportunities to do so. In Pennsylvania, the government continues to say smash them. That way they don't harm vegetation. But a recent study from Penn State found they may not harm or cause as much harm as once thought. John Shumway takes it from here. Have the pesky visitors found you yet? They certainly are out there, but it turns out they have a very specific appetite. Oh, there's only a few different hosts that it stays on for months and months, which is what it takes to really cause severe damage. A quick visit to your yard won't do it, but Penn State lead researcher Dr. Kelly Hoover says certain plants are definitely in the crosshairs. We already know that they can kill grapevines. Which has vineyards across western Pennsylvania worried and treating repeatedly because a single treatment doesn't keep them away. The other is Tree of Heaven, which is a invasive plant. So, Dr. Hoover says no great loss. It's a nuisance killing a nuisance. But as for your trees that provide the shade in your yard? For the most part, they don't stay long enough to cause enough damage. So your well-established trees will be fine. It's the young saplings that could be harmed. Penn State learned all this with four years of controlled study where lanternflies were trapped with trees and couldn't move on, although they certainly wanted to. Under normal circumstances with your healthy grown trees, Dr. Hoover says, Even if you get a, a large infestation on your maples, they are only going to be around maybe a month. That was John Shumway reporting. And Dr. Hoover says that's just not long enough to do long-term damage, and the tree should recover. Also, if you are looking to smash some spotted lantern flies, a word of advice, do it from the front because they can't jump backward, only forward. I don't have time to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to... You just have to walk around them. Step on it. <laughs>